him. Leave foot on the corner. Stay away from me. Morris and Aiken scheduled for five three-minute right, rounds. Ready? Fight. Here we go. Maurice Morris in the black and gold trunks, the southpaw, Harrison Aiken. Takedowns. Yep, with the takedowns early. <laughs> Got kind of the camouflage with the white and red going. Moore is a big, powerful fighter. And both these guys very aggressive. Waved off immediately by Wayne Spinola. Both guys Bush, a little bit not a knockdown. Both guys a little bit tight too, and so that's why they're they're kind of telegraphing their shot. Big shot there by Aiken. Big shot landed by Aiken. Kind of telegraphing their shots, and also a little bit stiff. You can kind of see everything coming. Stop. Break clean back up. That's why not a lot's landed, but guys keep falling because they yeah. bounce all over the place. It's a good takedown, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Southpaw against Orthodox Fighter. You know, talk about throwaway punches. There's no throwaway punches here, Goldie. No. no. <laughs> every, they're trying to land every single one. Maurice Morris told us he wants to stay in his normal zone, keep it simple. He feels he's the better striker, but right now, this is, this is just an all-out slugfest. And yeah, they're going to get tired because both guys have been so stiff and they've been throwing everything so hard that there's going to be fatigue coming into this big shot landed by Morris. Morris was ready to celebrate. It is all over. Maurice Morris stops Harrison Aiken. Yep. But that's kind of what you alluded to, the way they were throwing. Yeah, yeah. It was either they were going to get exhausted or somebody's going to go. Absolutely. Throw everything so hard. Everything thrown with ill intention. And credit to Morris, he took a couple of those too. You know, Absolutely. He had to take a couple of those before, before he got his in there. It's a good straight left that landed for Aiken. Yeah, I'm curious to see the, that shot, that knockout blow. And Paul, you mentioned the pace yeah. that these guys are on, and you can see that Harrison, while finished, yes, is breathing really hard as well. Yeah. He, he kind of half threw a punch yeah. a little bit before the finish. I don't think they were, they were starting to just slow down, and then just landed that shot. They would have got, it would have started to get real sloppy if this would have continued because they were. There's no way you're going to keep your energy when, you, when, you, when you're both that, both of these that, that stiff down, punches that hard constantly. Let's see the replays here from the round. This was the not, this was the takedown. <laughs> sort of a judo move there, no goalie? Yes, indeed. Ronda Rousey would be proud. Let's see his, this one. Just a push down. He goes down there. That's where I had mentioned he overextended, didn't have a lot of gas. See, that was, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't want to fight anymore. <laughs> Exhaustion <laughs> is, is a yeah. very bad enemy well, inside that, of combat sport. I used to have a t-shirt when I saw the boxing and said, uh, fatiguing the cowards of men. Yes. <laughs> they, were gonna go, they were on their way to being better fatigued than they were fighting. Absolutely. Maurice Morris fighting in his backyard. Fighting out of Charlotte, North Carolina, wins his bare knuckle debut. Still, once again, a lot of love, prayers, and support to Harrison Aiken on his journey, turning his life around. Setting the example that for those who have demons and addiction, there is help, there is support out there. Aiken. Defeated for the first time inside the Trigon. Finished by Maurice Morris. up. Maurice Morris. Maurice Morris actually fought Cub Hawkins in MMA back in September of last year. Victorious inside the Trigon tonight. 
So he the first gets his first win, and here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of round number one, declaring a winner by no!